Hello, I have made a video about a problem in my marriage and what was going on. My wife was scamming me, stealing money, making up bad situations which require money. And that was happening too often. I am not rich. And she probably have scammed me out of quite a bit of money. No more than $10,000, maybe around five or something like that. I am not all the way sure. Probably around that. Well, if you account for her sister, and other things too, maybe, maybe six, seven thousand, who knows? I am not rich and I don't make a lot of money. I don't make a lot of money. So, what i do i sacrifice sometimes i go without to do other things if that makes any sense so i want to give you some signs to look out for because i believe people like to online date right so everyone is not honest out there and let me say this and I don't know if I said this in another video. Maybe I did not. That I posted. <laughs> but just because someone claims to be Christian doesn't mean they are Christian. Please understand that. Because let's go to Matthew chapter 7 first. So Matthew chapter seven, let's see, verses 22 through 23, is it? 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works so haven't we done things in your name basically 23 and then will i profess unto them i never knew you depart from me ye that work iniquity Okay, some people may say, what does that mean, Kevin? Okay, let me put it in my own words. Just because a person preaches at church doesn't mean they are of God. It doesn't mean they serve God. Can't a witch teach the Bible? Can't a Muslim teach the Bible? Can't an atheist sing songs of God and teach the Bible? I believe a witch can tell you things that may happen in your life. So that may seem like or may be prophecy. So does a witch have a relationship with Jesus Christ? No. Just because someone teaches, prophesies, and stuff like that doesn't mean they serve God. It doesn't mean it. Just because someone has a gift from God doesn't mean they serve God. So, if you hear someone say they are Christian, you need to be cautious of them. Don't let down your guard. 
I know some people may want to let down their guard and hi brother, hi sister. Like you may even want to invite that person over your home, perhaps. I believe if someone claims to be Christian, watch them more closely. Watch them more closely. Don't be so quick to believe people. I was, and maybe still am, naive. Don't be like me. Don't be naive. Don't be gullible. Also, so let me say this. Let's say that someone has contacted you. And let's say they seem to be interested in you. If it be possible, first, video chat. You know, of course, you may want to text first and blah, 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 blah. But if you begin to start really liking the person, video chat with the person. You know, to see if the profile picture is actually them. Okay. So some things you may to ne you may need to watch out for. I think with some scammers, I believe some of them want to build a connection with you. So some may contact you so often. May want to start speaking about love early on. Like for instance, not saying all of them do, but within three weeks or so, I love you. You don't even know me. You don't even know the person. Why are you bringing up the word love? I believe one of the reasons some may do that, I believe it is part of trying to build trust, trying to build a connection with the person. Okay. So let's say within three weeks or four weeks, you begin saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Okay. I believe a big red flag will be is if they begin asking for money, which I am not saying it is bad to help people but if a person is like having so many problems to where they need money to fix each problem, I believe that is a red flag. Because think of your own life. Do you have those many problems to where it requires money, like emergency stuff? I know now we may have hard times of, okay. But listen, a random person got into contact with you or you may have contacted them. And they are having so many emergencies that require money to where you feel rushed to where you feel like you need to do it now. Listen to me. That person is probably trying to scam you. So for instance, let's say a person may say to you, hey, hi baby, <laughs> okay. Can you give me $50 to pay for my cell phone bill because you know, um, I ran out of money and I want to keep on speaking to you. So can you give me the money? And let's say you give the money. Okay, maybe a week or two weeks later. Hi, baby. You know, um, I went to work and they was supposed to pay me today but they told me they will not have my pay 
until next week. So can you give me some money so I can buy food and blah, 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 blah. So let's say you give the money. So the week comes or the time comes where that person should be paid. Let's say that person contacts you back. They told me they don't have my money today. They are so rude. They are so mean. And I don't know when they are going to pay me. So can you give me some more money so I would have enough money for the month to pay this and pay that? I believe if this happens to you, you are being stringed along. The more you give, I believe that person is going to invent more emergency problems to where you may feel forced to give. I think that is a huge red flag. But with many of us that are generous and nice and compassionate and loving, we may not see Maybe in the beginning, we may not see it as a big thing. We may not see it as that person trying to scam us because our intentions are not bad, sort to speak. Like, we may not think in the beginning someone would do that to us. But listen, I believe an easy way to determine if you are dealing with a scammer, how many times is that person asking for money? And when you don't give it to them, how do they behave? If they begin behaving in a very bad way or speak to you less because you deny them, <laughs> is it possible they are mainly after your money? Some people live in very bad conditions. Some people are very, very poor. So, as you go to work and make your money and stuff like that, right? Some people's jobs in a sense i guess is scamming is getting over on people so one red flag someone seemingly falling in love with you so quickly then right after <laughs> falling in love with you start asking for money can you buy me a phone? Can you pay my cell phone bill? Can you buy me some shoes? Can you buy me a cake? Can you buy me some weave? Can you buy me, apparently a brain too, I guess. But do you understand what I am trying to say? Back to back, back to back emergencies that require money and they need it now. Like you can't really think, you can't hesitate, they need it now. In some instances, if I'm saying that right, in some situations, it may seem that way. Listen. Inside your mind, you may begin thinking something is wrong, but this person is nice. This person speaks to me every day. This person is so polite. The image I have in my mind about this person, I don't think that person is a scammer, but at the same time, I am looking at, so to speak, what that person, how that person is behaving. 
that person is behaving as a scammer, but from the way that person treats me, I don't want to believe it. Listen, I think it is good to probably speak to another person about it to confirm if that person is or isn't a scammer. Like for instance, myself. I believe my wife has had, probably I should say had, scammed me many times. In the beginning, I could see inconsistencies and some of her explanations did not make any sense. But because I thought she is a woman of God, maybe she is, maybe she is not, maybe not. She would read the Bible with me, pray with me. So I had an image in my mind, she is like this. But at the same time, I was seeing something else. So I'm thinking, how can she be like this? But I'm seeing this. I'm like, maybe, maybe I am thinking wrong. Maybe I am tripping. For an example, maybe I am tripping. So let me give her the benefit of the doubt. But the thing about it, the more I gave it to her. See, I believe the thing about scamming, I think some people get greedy. I believe some people get greedy. So while I was giving her the benefit of the doubt over and over again, as it seemed more and more, it was like, it was like probably at the same pace, things were still happening. I can't really say it was happening more. I really forget, but let me say it in this way. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt, but at the same time, stuff kept on happening kept on happening kept on happening and okay i have this image in my mind of how you are but i can't keep on ignoring what is happening so i have the answer inside my mind but at the same time it is coming in conflict with the image I guess she made up in my mind about how she is. So I believe that is a good time to contact someone and tell the person what is going on. And chances are the person you are dealing with is probably a scammer. I hope this makes sense. I really hope this makes sense. If you are unsure, if things are happening that doesn't really make sense and you hear their explanation of why it is that way and it doesn't really make sense, you need to speak to someone about it. You need to speak to someone about it soon, not a year later, not no, you need to speak to someone about it. Some people, some scammers, I believe what some scammers may do, they may try to tell you, hey, don't tell anyone, but I need to borrow. No, don't tell anyone, but I want this amount of money or I need this amount of money for this. Don't tell anyone because I don't want people to judge me. I don't want people to think I am only after money. Well, maybe you are. My wife was scamming me. And the thought would come to my mind, but it was going in conflict of what I thought 
I believe, yeah, I believe the thought was coming to my mind, but it was coming in conflict with who I thought she was. Lying, cheating your husband. Well, I am poor. Whatever the reason is, even if you are going to use the money and give it to homeless people, you don't continuously or not even one time scam your spouse. If you are online dating, which many may do, stop trusting people so easily. Have people earn your trust. When it comes down to money, listen now, like you may think I am being hard or whatever else like that. If you are dating someone, they should not even mention money to you. They should not be asking for money. Am I saying that right? They should not ask you for money at all. Have like a, a boundary to where there will be no talk about money. Now you may say that is too strict. Ah, uh, We can talk about money and stuff like that. Listen now, if you want to avoid scammers, listen now. If you speak to someone and if you tell them we can't talk about money, if someone stops talking to you soon after or act like they have little uh, interest in speaking with you, chances are that is probably what they was after. Don't talk about how much money you make a year. Don't talk about what type of job you have because I believe those are some indicators of them trying to predict how much you make with probably some scammers. You need to protect yourself. Just because they say they are a pastor, a prophet, a prophetess, uh, evangelist, a bishop, uh, Tom Hanks, whoever they claim to be, whatever, don't mention money. If someone is so crazed on speaking about money so much, <clears throat> that may be a red flag. Don't be like me. Don't be so trusting. Don't be so naive as I was and doubt almost everything. Have people earn your trust. Don't easily give it. Quite honestly, I don't want you to be paranoid, but my train of thought, where did it go? Okay. Have it in your mind when you are online dating, have it in your mind that you have to always protect yourself. See it as the person you are speaking to may potentially take advantage of you. So many scammers out there, so many liars out there, compulsive liars. I believe they seek out people who are compassionate, who are loving, who are generous. Am I saying that right? generous who is willing to help a person that is in need but don't manipulate a person or trick a person in helping you when you lying to oh when you are lying to that person making up stuff i hope this makes sense if you have a daughter that is very young who is trying to online date, that may not be the best thing for her. Even if you are in your early 20s. 
If you do online date, you may need an older person for you to confide in just in case that person is trying to set you up. Younger woman or younger man, very dangerous, I believe, in some cases. So let me stop here. May God bless you.